What? What can I do for you, eh? What can I do for you? I'm trying to heat my coffee up? I'm trying to start this vlog? Do you want a cookie? Shake a paw. Good girl. Shake this paw. Good girl. Look at that. Sit down. There you go. Oh, you quick. You just taking off with it. Coffee's done. Double cup that shit. Finn. What do you think, girl? This is a tricky beat. <laughs> what the hell is that? What? It's not food time yet, girl. So. Today uh, is another day, man. Now, I know what you're thinking right now, Slap. Where's top 10, man? Top 10, top 10, top 10. Where's top 10, man? Top 10, top 10, top 10. Just ran out of time for top 10. I didn't have a chance to do it. Obviously, uh, I need a shave. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's not worry about that too much. Finn, I know my sweater is old, right? I the mint sweater coming back for another vlog. Obviously, uh, this thing is old. I need to get a new mint sweater. Hager Garage, if you're watching, you know, send a care pack. I gotta rock the mint. You know what I'm saying? I bought this one myself, though. I bought this one myself. So, definitely, uh, you know, it's seen better days. You know, the white is a little bit faded right now, but that's okay though, man. That's okay. That's not what we're here to talk about today. Now, if you guys have been following Instagram, uh, I've been showcasing a little bit of the rims. I've been showing some side profile shots of them. Uh, I showed the tires already, but I have yet to actually show the rims. So I do want to show you guys uh, because they have been a really big investment. I paid just over, I would say about 3,100 or so. I uh, only paid $90 in import fees to actually get them to my house, which I was very, very shocked about to be completely honest. We're gonna quick step in the garage. Finn, come on, come on in. So the wheels are actually right behind me. And to be honest with you, I am starting to sweat, man. Hold on real quick. All right, all right. Look at that, that green though. That's that sicky life. You guys don't know, they hooked up the care package. Love their merch. Uh, that green and black though, that sicky manufacturing. You guys don't know them. Well, uh, rear subframe bushings, my rear differential bushings. They came in clutch. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, but, oh man, I don't even, man, I want to show you what I don't want is I want to keep the secret going. Uh, if you guys can already see behind me, we have a beautiful set, man. I'm talking clean, crystal clean work VSKFs right now. Uh, they're monstrous, man. They're real beefy. So the specs on the rear end, we have a beautiful set of Falcon Azenus RT615K. Uh, and then on the front, we're going to be running a 235 35 R18. So uh, they fit very nicely, to be honest with you. I, I really do like the stretch. Uh, you know, it's not too much. The lip is just kind of sitting there. And to be honest with you, I am in love with these rims, man. I really am. Uh, I think they came out great. I got these from VR Wheels. Uh, fast shipping. The shipping packaging, though, I always seem to have issues with the packaging. Now, now VR, they did do a protective kind of plastic wrap around the lip of the wheel. Uh, unfortunately, though, you know, it just wasn't enough. One of them was actually dinged when I did get it. Uh, so now there was damage around the corner of the lip, and I will show you guys some screenshots. Not on this particular piece, but to be honest with you, I can't even see it anymore, at least from this angle. Now, what he did end up saying was that it, because it's a billet lip, he actually filed down about a third of it, uh, and then, you know, just until it tapered away and then repolished it. And I gotta be honest with you, it came out phenomenal. Can't even see, you know, where the actual damage was. It made my heart sink, man. It really did, considering, you know, the amount of money that I've spent now on the rim and tire package, it's gotta be. Uh, probably upwards to about maybe four grand. Like it's it's not a cheap setup right now. It's only gonna get worse because of the fact now I test fitted them today. I actually tried them on. Uh, the fronts do not fit. And I was worried about that because of the Brembo package. Uh, they're too big. And unfortunately what's happening is, is that the caliper is rubbing on the wheel. So I'm gonna need probably about a 15 to 20 mil spacer on the front end. And that's a 10 inch rim on there. It's a 10 inch rim. Uh, with a five and a half inch lip on the front, six inch lip on the rears. Uh, we have a plus eight offset on the front and a plus this two offset on the rear end. So, uh, you know, it's definitely gonna look great. 11 and a half wheel is a stretch, right? It's a big jump on the G. What are you doing over here, Finn? This is just this is a bunch of shit over here. I don't want you to be, Finn, come on. We got sway bars, we got damn camber arms here. We got antifreeze in the back, this, this is, is a no-no. Still gotta dispose of a lot of shit from the rat install right around here, which I will be doing uh, very soon. I do gotta clean this whole thing up, and obviously I'm prepping very fast for winter. It's coming, and I know that's your next question. It's not, why the hell did you go and buy these when winter's fast approaching? Well, 
I wanted to do it, man. I like them. I seen them come up on VR wheels. I had to grab them. Now to go with these beautiful wheels, what I've done is I picked up a few really nice accessories. Now, don't mind my messy damn setup right here. If you guys don't know, I love milk, man. There's a story behind this. I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. It's really off topic, but uh, that is a beer koozie. Yes, it is. So we got some beautiful Mishimoto lug nuts. If you guys watched my Neighbor Speed the Run video, I showcased these. I think these are gonna look really nice in the car. They just have a really nice clean M. As you guys know, the Mishimoto rad and hoses that I have in the car, I thought it worked really nicely. They're not overdone. I wanted to get the work lugs. I did, however, uh, they were like 300 bucks. So I said, you know what, I'll pass on that and go with the Mishimotos. I like them. We also went ahead and uh, grabbed some center caps for these babies, man. We're VSKF gold and black center caps. Now, from first look, they look great. You know, they look phenomenal. However, here we go. Let's throw them side by side, though. And you can quickly see the differences in the two. Now, if you still can't see them, hold on. So, these are the two center caps. Now, mind you, these are not cheap. Uh, the one on my left hand right now, I paid almost about $150 just to get it to my door. Um, and then these are the ones that actually came on the car, the silver ones and the chrome. So, the one on the right, you can actually see the S is different font than the one on the left, as well as the work at the bottom. Uh, so, to my knowledge, these are fake, and even the back of the cap is different from the one coming off of here. So, uh, I got gypped on these, man. I got these from eBay. I actually have already ordered the proper set. So, it's the exact same thing as this, but it's black and gold now. So, I got the proper ones, but I got bamboozled on eBay, man. So, just be careful, buyer beware, um, that you buy the proper center caps. If you guys have any idea why they're different, um, are they fake or you know, is there an actual reason why they're different if you guys can let me know in the comments? I'd be appreciative wheel games getting spicy man. I'm excited going for more of a stance look for the next couple months or so um, Obviously, there's gonna be some modifications that are gonna be needed. I'm gonna have to probably roll fenders uh, Pull quarters. I don't know exactly Finley. Come on girl. Let's go Come on up here Finn. Come on look at you down there. I see you now, if we keep moving down the halls here, we're gonna be finding ourselves in the studio room, which uh, you have really yet to see at all uh, for a very long time. But there has been some changes that have been made. We got some LEDs in here. We got a beautiful glass cabinet. So if you guys don't know, this whole room is laced with soundproofing. As you guys can see behind me, uh, there's just a whole bunch of it on the walls. We got them on the damn back, the corners. That's from AeroZoom. They've been really hooking me up with a lot of soundproofing over the last couple months just to really complete the look of this room. And I've been really enjoying it. It's been working phenomenal just to cut down the echo. Uh, but I'm gonna give you, you know, hold on now. The glass cabinet, uh, this has been something that I've been working on for a little bit just to kind of, you know, bring the room together in a sense. I moved all the cardboard boxes that were in this area, moved the light actually right behind this setup. Uh, and I think it looks a lot cleaner. We got our pictures on the wall as well too, our Michelin Pilot Experience. So had our pictures from Tuner Call, which I ordered uh, Christmas time last year. Finally got them up on the wall. Soundproofing needs to be a little bit more straight. Um, I have leveled off the pictures. However, the soundproofing is still not is straight. So I gotta redo that part of it. But now coming to the glass cabinet, uh, we have a lot of kind of knickknacks, collectibles from trips and stuff like that. If you guys see anything that you like, leave it in the comment section down below. I mean, I have anything from Call of Duty shot glasses. We have white this Goodman right here from Dodgeball. We have a wooden shark that I picked up from my last trip out. And moving down to the second shelf here, you know, we have anything from, you know, water bottle collections. We have, you know, ticket stubs, wristbands from trips, uh, you know, cups. We have signed Dirt Rally here. We have the Fast and the Furious with the Ford Victoria that I had Dennis sign from our LA trip. Uh, just a lot of things, right? I mean, moving down here, we have the beautiful steering wheel and Brian Supra. We have our YouTube yearbook with the two brews from Germany and our 458 rim from Thrustmaster. So it's definitely a work in progress in here. You know, it's by no means done. Still a lot of things that I want to do, but for the most of it though, I think it looks pretty damn good right now. What do you think, Finn? Huh? What I did was I picked up a really nice set of stripped LEDs of Amazon, ran them all the way down, can change them to whatever color I want. They fade in and out. I think they look phenomenal, they really do. However, this room's about to get a makeover because uh, I have some parts coming in. Uh, as of right now, my PC is actually on the ground right here. So you guys can kind of see that, just kind of sitting there. Now I have went ahead and ordered um, actually a brand new case, which is a glass kind of clear case, which I think is gonna look really nice. Um, and I wanna put it 
more or less up here. You know, I wanna change this up a little bit where I can actually see the computer on the table and think in turn will allow a lot of the cabling uh, to be a little bit more organized and such. So we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, not too sure on the placement of that. If you guys have any ideas, by all means, let me know. But you know, something, I may move this over a little bit so I can kind of have access to another monitor. I don't know yet. Computer may just go right there. Again, I don't know. My biggest problem is that I need to have the wheels in range of that computer for the USBs and such. I got a bunch of extensions as well as some HDMI cables. Now obviously, uh, you know, with the purchase of a GTX 1080, comes triple screen setup, right? So, I mean, that is definitely gonna be in play. I got Destiny 2 dropping next month. I think October, what, 14th or something like that it comes out. It's about a month and a half later than the console version, which to be honest with you, if I was a big Destiny fan and I only was playing it on PC and I was waiting, I'd be pissed, man. Let me know if you guys are in that same situation. Finley, stop eating the shit on the ground. Come on. All right, oh, look at here, man. Core PI. It is in. Cool your life, man. Drinking. Look at that case. Oh my God, it's gonna be clean, man. I'm excited. We also got, what is this back here? Um, we also got a bunch, probably cables, I'm assuming so. This is this is my new case for the computer. It's gonna be completely see-through with some LEDs. I got fans. Um, this is a lot of shit. Finley, what's in there, girl? What's in there, huh? You wanna open it? All right, Miss Finn, what do you think, girl? Huh? Think it's gonna be clean? Think it's gonna be nice? Another news also actually, uh, Forza Motorsport 7 just received a demo date of I believe uh, September 19th. I may be wrong on that, don't quote me please, but September 19th is I do believe the date of the demo, which I'm hyped. Get sicky. Pull this thing out, let's see what we're dealing with. So it looks like it came in a few pieces. We got the glass by itself right there. So this is just the main case right here. And then you got the glass with the stands. I don't know yet if I'm gonna wall mount it, because that is a possibility you can wall mount it. Uh, but then now, then we have all of our internal pieces right here. So uh, definitely a lot of work ahead of me to transfer everything out of the one case to the other, but will be uh, a great decision once I do so. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you guys have this case? Any uh, you know negative? positive, leave it down below in the comment section. Hold on now, totally forgot about that second box. I think I know what's in here, just a bunch of cables and shit. Ooh, what we got here? Okay, so USB 3, A male to female extension. I needed those for the wheels. LED strips for the PC. Solid, uh, this is another, I do believe, two pack HDMI cables. And then whatever the hell this shit is. What is this? Ooh, my USB hub. This thing actually lights up with switches. I thought it was pretty neat. We have the graphics card yet to still open from Amazon. We got RAM, we have fans. Um, it's gonna be a busy week, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this vlog today, was just to kind of let you know I'm busy right now. So if you guys don't see two videos a day coming out from the channel, you know why. I do, Finn, I told you, I can't do two videos. Now, if you don't see two videos a day, that's what I'm trying to get at, man. I'm busy. Finley, what do you need over there? Are you good, girl? What? What can I help you with? Hmm? What can I do for you? What can I do for you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, she's only about a year and two months or so. We had to shave her down. Obviously, if you guys have seen her uh, last house vlog, she, you know, she had a lot of hair. Her ears were just full of hair. Unfortunately, uh, we were away for about a week at the cottage, and in that time, they gave her a bath at the place that she was staying. Uh, so long story short, she got really matted really quick and we needed to kind of get rid of those mats. You can't really comb them out because there were so many of them. So she had to be shaved, ear hair and all. I think she looks pretty cute right now, man. I really do enjoy the look on her. Took me a little bit, obviously, as she grew more and looked better, but. What do you think, man? You look good? You damn right, you look good, girl. How you doing? Go ahead. One time. Good girl. Go pee -pees. Look at my lawn. Look what you did in my backyard, girl. Look at that. That's her doing. All right. She wants outside and then she literally just, she just comes right back to the door. I don't understand. I'm gonna clean this shit up, but first, you know what? Before we clean that up, I'm going this downstairs, man. Tricky. You know why? Because I'm about to rip some cruise in USA. I've been dying to play it all day. Finally, had the opportunity to do so. So, let's hop down. 
shit, I turned off the light. All right, so we move over here in the basement. Uh, we have ping pong table, full size regulation competition spec. All right, uh, I run this table. This is my table, all right? I do what I need to do on this table, which means beating Greg 100% of the time. I'm just kidding, Greg, if you're watching this, all right? Uh, I win maybe about every third game, all right? We'll go with every third game. I've been getting a little bit better, man. But ping pong skills, they're at an all-time high right now. They're at an all-time high. So if you guys would like a match at the pong, you let me know, okay? Next up, we have a surround sound system, which I have hooked up. I have yet to nail them to the wall, though. So I do need another speaker right here. We have a little porn light right here. It's perfect, man. It looks like a little casting couch area, right? I'm just kidding. That's absolutely terrible. We got our mirror right here, full-size mirror. And then coming down to the actual home theater itself. So what I've done, I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this, to be completely honest with you. We've set up a really clean setup here, TV. We got the surround sound on top. Both speakers is Bluetooth, so you can just come down here, hook up your phone. You're good to go. We have underneath Super Smash Bros. We got, damn, Fighting Force 64. And where's my cruising USA, man? What the? Did I leave that shit upstairs? Oh my god, okay, hold on now. Hungry? Oh, she hungry, okay. Oh, yeah, she knows. One scoop and a Kellogg's raisin brain. Now, I think that's gonna do it for today's house vlog, though, to be honest with you. I got a few things I gotta take care of right now. I gotta clean this shit up. Uh, I got some friends coming over tonight for some beers, so it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited for the room. I'm excited for the rims. I'm excited for everything moving forward, man. The Forza demo, make sure you guys hit that up. I'll be playing that on the day of guaranteed. Really hyped about that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching once again to another house vlog. I haven't done them in a little bit. Do apologize, uh, but hopefully with this one, you guys will uh, you know show enough support. It'll make me want to do a second one, right? And that's all I'm saying. Thank you guys so much for watching. Finley, what do you say? I know. Long day, it's getting hot in here. I gotta turn on the AC because I'm starting to sweat. I gotta clean up all the shit over there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Me and Finn, we're hopping out here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ooh.